All right, in this video, we're gonna show you how to strike your irons like Tommy Fleetwood with this wide to wide golf drill. Stick around. Hey Henry, so I don't know if you've seen, but there was a video that was going around on Instagram and a few other places of Tommy Fleetwood talking about this drill he did where he was basically making the club go back and through without much hinge in his arms or elbows and mostly pivot. He called it a windmill drill. We did a lot of like straight arm swings where I had to turn my body. Um, so there was a lot of like windmill swings going on. And all of them basically what we did was there was no hands and no wrists involved. It was all body and all connection. You've seen that? I have seen it. I have. Yes. What do you think what do you think he was working on there? Uh, it's one of your foundation pieces, right? From our online academy. It is. <laughs> Foundation number one for those who are members. Yeah. If you're not a member, come on over and but, you'll find out. But no, in all seriousness, he was, you know, he was talking about this sort of connection that he wanted between his arms and his torso working together, right? Yes. And feeling like the swing was derived more from his core and pivot and rotation versus what's going on with all this stuff. Exactly. Right? So the whole idea of the drill is to get the pivoting motion to send the arms in the club unit in the proper arc. Because for most of us, our pivot actually throws the club out of the arc we want the club in, and then we're trying to figure out how to salvage it the rest of the way, right? Right. And so this drill is one that Tommy used to build his golf swing. Yeah, and, and he even talks about the sawed off finish. It, that was a result of him making these practice swings, yes. right? So he found out that like from here on, he really didn't you know, gain any energy per se. I'm sure if he went like all out at something, he might wrap around a little bit more, but he kind of finishes like that. Yeah, his, his swing is kind of a boom. And then it right. comes to a stop right there. Right. And you know, there's other guys throughout history that kind of swung, had some similarities, right? You think of like Steve Stricker, not a lot of moving parts. It was very derived from the pivot, mm -hmm. right? Um, and even uh, Jason Day to some extent, especially with the shorter clubs, like very uh, pivot driven, right? Much like this. For sure. It creates a very stable face, not a lot of rotation in it. And the other thing is it, it, it kind of produces some width, right? And this is something we've, we talk about a lot, um, is sort of this width throughout the swing, not just arms extended into the finish. Yeah, width is a stabilizing factor. So the wider the arc, the more stable this end gets to be. So for you guys at home that have that chicken wing finish, you're gonna wanna stick around to see like how this all works, right? For sure. Okay, so I brought a towel out as well. Now this isn't a drill we necessarily use all the time. No, but it's a good drill to get people to feel how to tie their arms to their body swing. So let's, let, me, let me do the towel drill first here. So let's put the towel kind of under each arm. And if I was doing this drill, you know, I'm just going to hit some kind of windmill style like Tommy Fleetwood where I'm just back and through. So my, my club and my arms are moving basically perfectly in sync with my body right there. Right. It's almost like if I had a stick and I had it attached to your sternum and it attached to that club face, that's, that, that width, that stick is basically in the same spot the whole way through, it, that sternum turning yeah. through, right? Yeah, for this drill, that's perfect. And that's a really good way to play short game shots. Now, can you hit it very far with just this? No, but it's a good foundation. And then as we continue on, now we're going to start to let our arms swing a little bit. So we're going to create a little folding of the right arm and a little hinging of the right wrist. And that's about the time where I would take the towel out because I actually like a little bit of right. separation. I like this arm to have a little freedom. So if I was going to throw something hard, my arm wouldn't stay like this. Right. But for this, for these small swings, this is a really good way to train people how to keep their arms in sync with their body. And to, and to really produce a pivot-driven motion, for right? Because sure. a lot of people struggle with creating that pivot. Their first instinct is to control the swing with their hands and arms, right? So if we can get that club traveling through space with a pivot a little bit better, your arc becomes a little bit better as well. Totally. So, so now I'm going to take the towel away. 
Okay. I've demonstrated with the towel. So now what would this look like when we take the towel out? So I would tell you for this shot, like I still wouldn't want you to hit it very far. Okay. Right? So it's going to be just a nice little clipper like that? Sure. Now, obviously Fleetwood probably built this up and now it's more his swing. But, you know, keep in mind now he's adding, you know, extension. Oh yeah, his wrist. right arm doesn't stay straight. Exactly. It, it so. folds a little bit and his, his wrist hinge, so he gets a, a normal backswing. But he's keeping that arc nice and wide, so it's going to look more and more like that right as we grow it and the, again the, the key factor that he builds up is that pivot so even from a short little swing like this to a fuller swing like that the driving force is in here yes right totally so that's kind of the key because if, if we're just throwing our hands and arms on it you're going to start getting you know a chicken wing or crazy things like that right? yeah a lot of times the chicken wing happens because you're putting too much force into the golf club with your hands too early. Yep. We really don't want to put the force into the club with our hands. We want to let the momentum of the club kind of we sling the golf club is what I like to say. Mm -hmm. So my body's turning and those levers unwind because of physics, which is what Tommy does really well. But he does it with a really structured motion. Awesome. And as far as the held off finish, what are your thoughts on that? You know, I actually use that kind of a shot for my flighted shots. So it's basically like he's flighting it around the golf course more than he is trying to rip it. You know? Yep. You don't have to hit every shot as full as you can. So I don't mind it. I probably wouldn't do it with my driver, and he kind of does. But, you know, he's good. Makes a lot more money than I do. <laughs> so i got to try to hit one more like Tommy. Wrong ball flight. Tommy's draws. Well, maybe the wind got it. I don't know. All right, guys. Well, we hope you enjoyed it. And, you know, try out these little pivot drills. Arms extended. That's a nice little thing to kind of build your swing around as you, uh, you know, build up the speed and stuff. Right? Yep.